What's up everybody, welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today we're going to be reviewing another uh, cigar that AJ Fernandez has had his hand in and it is a few months old now. I know it came back maybe March, February of this year and I'm just now getting around to doing a review with you but I have had quite a few of them and I do believe they are really good cigars. We're ha we have the Romeo, uh, Romeo and Julieta uh, and it is the San Andreas, and this is AJ Fernandez in collaboration uh, with some other. Uh, as a project that he did with Altus, and uh, they had also uh, paired up for some other adventures. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go over this one. And like I said, man, it is a good-looking stick. It is a dark uh, wrapper. Almost, I mean, real darker than a milk chocolate. I mean, it is minimal veins and very tight seams. Man, like I said, I've had a few of these, and they are extravagantly great. And they're very, they're very inexpensive. Uh, they run uh, nine dollars to ten dollars. Just depends on what shop you buy them in. Uh, not sure what I paid f for this one, but they do have a five by fifty. Uh, Robusto, a 6x54 Toro, uh, they have a 6 and 1 8 by 52 and then they have a 5.5x60 small magnum, uh, or short magnum as they call it. But again, all of them, uh, if you're going to get a box of them, they come in boxes of 20 and they range from about $180 to $200. Just again, depends on where you're getting them and, you know, and how popular they are because I noticed that some shops, if they're popular, they like to put the price up a little bit but that's you know that's just business but shop around take a look we're gonna go ahead and get into this one and I'll be right back uh, once I get this uh, cut up and get it ready for the pre-draw all right everybody welcome back for our pre-draw now like I said what I like to do is with these site type of cigars and this one specifically being a 54 by 6 I like to use a straight cutter and happens to be I have a Romeo Romeo and Julieta uh, cutter as well, so we'll go ahead and use that. Now when you clip it, a lot of people have said they've had issues with it. Now remember, when you're clipping it, you're just taking the top off just a little bit. So we just take just a slight top off. So you can see it's almost, I mean it is, you're just clipping the top. The problem is a lot of people don't know that, and when they clip it, they take it, and then then they start having construction issues, and then that's when they make opinions about how the scar stinks, and but again, it's just, and then there's usually just a little bit of wrapper like that that's just still left on just part of that, that foot. And just clean it up a little bit, and there you go. So let's go ahead, and I didn't uh, indicate, excuse me, I'm checking my notes over here, I'm sorry. Um, we have the Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Its binder is Dic uh, Nicaraguan, and the filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican. And like I said, it is uh, a 6 by 54 gauge, and like I said, it's about nine dollars to ten dollars just depends on where you get it and it is a regular production and it was uh i guess at march of 2018 when they were released so it's only been three months that they've been out sometimes i let them sit in the shops that long and i've asked the guys when i go in there you selling these yeah we are uh, not as many as we think uh and then you find out if they've been in there a little while so maybe a couple more months aged in their humidors but it is a very firm packed cigar and as I said, minimal veins, tight seams, a little bit of a earth. I do dig uh, the gold, black, and white band. A little different than the other traditional uh, Romeo, that if you've seen those where it's red and white. On the cold draw, I am getting a little bit of a raisin profile. So we might say a, f a sweet, uh, a dried fruit. That's what I'm getting, but it to me it tastes like a raisin. And that's pretty much it's pretty basic a little bit of a pepper on the back of the palate but again with Nicaraguan you get that that peppery profile so let's go ahead and light it up and we'll get into the first third go ahead and use my torch here again you want to just torch the end you don't want to get it too close you don't want to burn it char it and then that changes the profile makes this seem like it doesn't taste well so do that give it a little turn mm. little turn and there we go all right right off the bat 
get a little bit of a a little bit of a, a white pepper it's not real strong pepper uh, but just a little bit of a pepper more of a real mild pepper I'm getting more of that raisin a little earthiness a little bit on the red too I'll get a little more of that white pepper I have to say it's not too overpowering it's not over strong a lot of people think because it's dark wrapper oh it's full strength don't try it that's not necessarily the case at all uh, just check and ask I always recommend you ask someone who smokes cigars that you know and then they smoke a lot of them or if you ask the shops because they sell so many cigars and they get all the uh, uh, all the information from all of the people that they come in there and most of those guys they smoke a lot of cigars too so they'll be a little more knowledgeable on that information Well, I'm going to keep puffing away. I'll be back in a little bit with our second third of the Romeo San Andreas. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Scars and Whiskey for our second third of the Romeo San Andreas. In the Romeo, the second third, um, noticing a little more of the black pepper. That earthiness profile uh, is coming through a little heavier. And I am starting to notice a little bit of a dark chocolate profile. Other than that, it's not too complex. It's a straightforward, good cigar at this point. Uh, I'll keep puffing away. I'm back with my final third and my final thoughts in just a few seconds, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, in our final third of the Romeo San Andreas, we're starting to notice a little more of a nicotine kick. It's starting to heat up just a little bit, not too much, uh, but it is becoming more of a full-strength cigar uh, as profile so if you're worried about that it might catch you off guard but it is still a good smoke and I do want to give a shout out to the, the guys over at Stag Tobacconist of Metro Center in Phoenix uh, for recommending this when it first came out and I have had quite a few as I said and they are good sticks and for the price point not too bad for the stick uh, so if you're willing to try something different and pay a little, little bit more maybe nine to ten dollars you may want to try it. It is a good cigar. Everything that I've had that AJ Fernandez has uh, been involved with, I haven't had a bad cigar profile. Now, some of the construction issues, people will say, oh, it, well, it fell apart. Well, it's a hand-rolled cigar. You're going to have issues. But hopefully they're not too, ma too many uh, where it unravels or it burns funky or it burns mouse holes or it tunnels. And if you don't know what any of those terms mean, Check out my Cigar 101 videos. I have explanations of what those terms mean. And so that way you'll kind of have a better idea if you're new to the cigar world. If you're a veteran like myself smoking these, you'll definitely understand what I mean. But all in all, it's a great stick. Suggest you try it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Again, I do thank you for tuning in to Cigars and Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. And I will catch you next time.